，白天的压力晚上就得好好释放。亲爱精品哈露最新推出的 Glow 大妈玫瑰舒缓按摩精油，就是最好的放松 partner。使用后自带芳香的性感肌肤，在保湿的同时也更为丝滑柔润，性感妩媚的肌肤提升自信，同时也诱惑着伴侣，更是夜晚激情前戏的必备小物。现在输入 I believe 即可获得教徒独家九折优惠，快来体验吧！真的很棒哦。Yeah, nobody know that you speak English. Like seriously, no one in Taiwan knows. So now you know. Now you know. Now we know. Now we know. Cheers! 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 Cheers!
Not anymore. Like some, but more of like girls also. Oh, girls! I like, yeah, sending you their own yeah. nudes. Yeah, they're like, I want to eat you all the way. And I'm like, what? Girls? Yeah, yeah, uh, girls on lesbian? Twitter also. Oh, so yeah, lesbian. That's interesting. Bisexual. I don't know, but oh, wow. Yeah, that's me too. I'm bisexual too. Yeah, but, but you don't I, get I, any I don't, nudes. I don't, I don't send you any right? nudes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Do you I want nudes? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking that way? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Yeah, so so how how do you deal with that, or you just ignore them? I usually ignore them, but like when sometimes like like this offer podcast or like sponsorship, it all goes to the dust box because I don't follow them, right? Yeah. Mm. So I try to check my the dust box like maybe once or twice a week, oh. and then just like randomly, delete, yeah, randomly uh-huh. pick or this delete everything. Oh, thank God we got. Oh my God, because I we we. I sent- <laughs> yes, exactly. Because I I sent one from our uh, oh, account yeah, before. You did? Yeah, yeah. We did. We did. But oh, it didn't work. Yeah, oh, it I didn't, didn't see that. It's okay. Cause we understand, right? Like it's probably in the dustbin. And then I was like, probably need, we need probably need a girl to send the, this kind of maybe invitation. dust it out. Cause usually it's like guys, and don't you have like a check mark? Right? Oh, I yeah, do have a check mark. Yeah, you yeah. have a check mark. Cause I don't so, like yeah, our, our official Instagram. podcast don't have right, a right, check right. mark. Right, right, right. So it's like she has to be legit because if not, then <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shady, 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 shady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after doing some research, we found out that you have recently moved to Philippines. Yes, that's uh 2015. 2015. That you you went there to do business yes. and then start your second second wave, right? Yes, kind of like yes, that. yes. And you become a kind of kind of like a huge star in the Philippines. Like we, I saw this little video on, on the internet, like like you somehow got into a car accident. Oh my god! And then that person. <laughs> The, the person in the Philippines <laughs> recognize it's you. He's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And then just like, let <laughs> you go. <laughs> you can hit me as many times as you want. I just keep what doing happened? it. Can you tell us like, the story about so this? So what happened was we were on the way to our um, movie premiere. Uh. And we were kind of running late. And then I think the driver was rushing. Uh. And then he, ca- I don't know what happened because I was in the backseat sleeping. And then we heard this bump. And then the car stopped suddenly. And then the driver and the managers are like going out and talking. So I just thought it was like a random car accident, which happens a lot in the Philippines. So I was like, okay, never mind. Just wake me up when you're there. And then the manager calls me out like, Maria, can you come out? And I'm like, what? No. <laughs> like, just come. And I'm like, okay. And then I go outside and then... The driver that got hit by our driver uh-huh. was like, oh my God, starstruck. And then I was like, <laughs> oh my God, you guys are using me. <laughs> again, again, again. 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 <laughs> so of course I came back out. So he's like, oh my God, oh my God. So I was like, I wrote him a, like a autograph, took a picture with him. And we um, kind of put him in the guest list of the movie premiere. Oh, and oh, then he's like, good. no problem, no problem. It's okay. It's just a little bent. So I was like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after when we all get went back to the car and driving to that mall, I was so pissed off at my manager. I mean, it's okay, I don't mind, uh. but you can't just rub your mistake to my. <laughs> I mean, man, grow up, you know. <laughs> grow up, guys, okay? never grow up. <laughs> That's the thing. But. Uh, is your manager uh, from the Philippines? Yes. Oh, so so that's like he's taking care of all your Filipino like adventures. That was just the manager for that movie. Oh, the for whole, that movie. Yeah, oh. yeah, that one oh. season. Okay, yeah. yeah, you have the right to be super mad. At I know. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, but uh, are you still uh, are you still expanding your business in Philippines, or is um, you're taking a little break well, right after now? After that, I've been opening like two lounge bars, yeah. like gentleman's club there and then we closed for the covid and then that's when i came back to japan two and a half years ago Mm. and i really didn't know what's gonna happen i mean like here or wherever i go i always do like a lounge business bar business because that's what i really like Mm. and then i was thinking since i'm back here maybe i could do something new again like Mm. you know everything is like every day is like a chance like Mm. you you never know what's gonna happen in your life but I really like the Philippines. Like everything is so easy going, less stress than in Japan, cheaper. People are like, you know, more chill. Free. Yeah, more yeah. chill. Yeah, very yeah. chill. Not like super intense. Yes, yes. Yeah, especially people in Tokyo. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> they look all so depressed on the street. Like girls are wearing high heels every day, like walking but so I don't long. know. Like, can, like, do you wear high heels every day to Some- work? 
Sometimes, yes, sometimes. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, today oh, I'm shit. wearing sneakers. Okay, okay, sneakers. okay, okay great, great. <laughs> Because like, it's like, it's diff- totally a different culture from I Taiwan. Think, I think yeah, so. In, in Japan, a lot of girls wear High heels heel. everywhere. I think that was one of my thing that I didn't really like. Like in Japan, there's like a pressure to the women that you have to always dress up, look oh. good. Wear high heels, impress male or your boss or whoever, or to each other, of course. The yeah. girls, like, there's lots of rivalry here in Japan. But then when I went to the Philippines, there was, like, almost none. Like, oh. everybody just likes you for who you are. If you're wearing sandals or whatever, flip-flop, it's okay if oh. it's you. Yeah. But maybe that's because, you know, they're... More like in a summer island. Yeah. Right? Tropical yeah. area. So, tropical people area. People are like really like, really, you know, laid yeah. Back, laid sure. back. Yeah. But I have so many questions though. Okay. Right? You say that you open up lounge business yes. in, in Philippines and, and that's the kind of business like the, this kind of stuff you like to do. Mm-hmm. First of all, how do you open up lounge business in the Philippines? Like, on, I thought this kind of business have to involve like local. Yes. Like, so actually I, I have like know. five partners. And oh, when I, I first went to the Philippines, 2015, I was invited by a family friend. Uh-huh. And then they were like, did you ever know that you have a huge following in the Philippines? And I'm like, I do. Because I never been to Manila before. Only mm. in Cebu with my friends like 10 some years ago. Mm. So I just went there for to have fun. To yeah. see how it goes. And then she just like, um, she had a friend who had a podcast. Very big um, studio in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So I went there. We had a radio show. We talked for like an hour or so for two days straight. Oh. And then... Philippines literally exploded their lives. Like, what the hell? Maria is here, right? Blah, oh. blah, blah. And then that was kind of like happy because I never knew that, you know, I had like popularity. Popularity, yeah. yeah. And then one of the bosses of the hotel was listening to that mm. in the car and he somehow contacted to my manager or someone who knew my manager. And then they're like, let's meet up, let's have a meeting. Mm. And then I just went to the meeting, not knowing what it's about. Yeah. I just thought it was like a random bar. And then they're like very serious about it. And they're like, we want to open a Japanese theme lounge and not those go-go bars or like, you know, regular bars. It has mm. to be Japanese theme. And you're so perfect for a partner. What do you think? I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh, well. I'm going. Who are they looking for when they say Japanese theme? Like, that people like more wear kimono? High, no, 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 no. More high. That's, no. See, that's, jacuzzi. Cause, cause jacuzzi. I don't know. Jacuzzi. Like, like, like your last bikini. Bar. bikini. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, like, what, what their um, what the imagination I think what was. they really meant was, like, more um, high-end gentlemen's club. Oh, I see. Like, and, like, girls will wear, well, not, like, showy dress but like suit or something like fancy i don't know how um, or more like uh like dressing gown like gowns like yeah gowns. more of ah. like a gowns yeah yeah yeah, like yeah, more, yeah. you know more high end okay right. then just not, so, not just like not like social, you can not, fuck not like, right away yeah 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 not, yeah, not, yeah, like, yeah. That. not, not like, like that, that. Not, like not, that. Like not like mini skirt or yeah yeah, yeah. it has to be all long not like you can pull out a penis and then people like come on sorry that's all i that's all i know i don't know i don't know where you have so many questions i know okay and the second question like why do you like the lounge business so much because number one I like drinking number two I like <laughs> cheers <again>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too number two I really enjoy talking with like different kind of people like when I was doing my bar business before I went to the Philippines here in Shinjuku it was really fun because every day you see somebody new and then people come and go and that's interesting also in life and then you know you get lectured and then you get more information about everything and that's how you learn because I don't usually watch tv or like I'm not like a home stay home person Mm. I like going out like you know travel Mm. and stuff like that so when I get all those information from the guests or customers or friends that comes to the bar Mm. it's a win-win for both of us yeah Yeah. and I, I just I literally I just like talking with people like oh, I, I, yeah, we understand. We actually have good a comedy bad. club in uh, Taipei. Oh, really? We, yeah. Yeah, we then, open a comedy club this summer. That's nice. Taiwan, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And, and we and we do live shows there every <gasps> Tuesday. So, Whoa. Yeah, and and when we see like, like our listeners in real life and talk to them, mm. interact with them, it's just it feels awesome. Right. It feels awesome, right? especially when you compare to all the haters on the internet. Oh my god. And those people saying all the radical, like yeah. stupid shit, and then you see real people. Like, this and is what matters. Yeah. Yes, this is what really matters. Yeah. And like I'm gonna like you know yeah. Yeah, and it's just it's also different from you learn like first same information from, for example, our listeners from overseas. They came back and then the shares. Mm. 
share their experiences with us. I'm yes. pretty sure that you mm-hmm. really enjoy that. But wow, but uh, you say you also open like a uh, different kind of lounge bars in in Shinjuku before. Shinjuku before before I moved to the Philippines, I had this something like KTV, but like with a darts. Bar lounge, like D- all darts, and all, like all like, like multi, so I had a, like a functional, <laughs> multi-functional. <laughs> I, don't know, multi-functional. <laughs> I don't know, like what do you have in there? What do you mean? Does it have my hotel suite inside? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do there? Yeah, what can we do there? Um, nothing. Drink, Drink. Okay. and play Pop. darts. Play darts. Karaoke. Okay. Okay. So it's like a counter, long counter bar, uh-huh. and then I had like two other girls who would help me out. Uh-huh. And we'll have like that's I think when you saw the jacuzzi, because uh, oh. we would used to have like a summer event, winter event, and then in the summer event we had like few champagne, and then mm-hmm. we were like saying if you buy one or the more expensive one you buy, you get to go inside the jacuzzi with us. Yes. Damn, he's that just so, so interested. That is. <laughs> So smart. It sounds like a yes. big hit. You are a genius. <laughs> 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 but you saw that business, right? Oh, yes, because I from, wanted to go to the, the Philippines. Philippines. Something new. Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> but uh, are you planning on opening a new one? Here Not in Japan? Yeah. No, as of now, well, when I came back two and a half years ago, I didn't know. I really didn't know what's going to happen about the COVID and thing. Yeah. So I just rented out a bar, like a small area in Shinjuku, mm-hmm. which my friend kind of borrowed it also but then in japan it's so it's so weird okay so for example you open your bar at five or six Mm -hmm. and then you operate until like 12 let's say and then from one to five there is like another member coming in so like the whole day like almost 24 hours the bars are open oh some just different Operators just owners, yeah, or different yeah, yeah. owners oh, like, different like in times. charge of different hours. Like first much. set, second set, third set. Oh. So oh. anytime you go, the bar is open. Okay. So it's huh. really, oh, that's so different cool. style, different, different way style. of uh, doing business. Because I've, I think I've seen the kind of bars that you're talking about. It's just like a bar counter and girls are like the bartenders. Behind the counter, right? yeah, Behind yeah, the yeah. Co- And just like chat with yeah, the guests. Yeah, yeah. That's huh. like the talking, the chatting bar, right? Is that a snack that people are talking about? Snack is, it's similar like that. But then when you say snack, it's yeah, different. What does that mean? What does that mean? Snack in Japanese. Is it derogatory? So there's bar, there's uh-huh. lounges, and there's snack, uh, and there's clubs. And then and I Kepakura, think Kepakura different. will be somewhere between lounge in the club. Oh, in the club. Okay. Because those, Kevaka is kind of still in a higher place. Uh-huh. And then there's bar, I think. Snack mm. is like something I don't really want to like, you know. Put them down. Put okay. them down, but it's something. Yeah. It's ch- cheaper, probably. Cheaper. It's cheaper. It cheaper. looks at 3,000 yens per yeah. hour. You go there. Very what, what, can you, what can you do there? Because I saw a lot of signs and then pimp were like, you guys want to come in? Like, can I go? I don't speak Japanese or… Really? How, there? How that, yeah, they're being like talking to random people to you? on the street. Not like you? to me, but yeah, like… Yeah, picking other husband, right? Because yeah. he looks Japanese, uh, but they just don't know he doesn't speak a shit. So, <laughs> so can we go inside? What, 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 what can well, we what expect? Do we, what do we what should we expect when we go into like those kind of snack bars? More elderly people. Oh, uh, I see. Don't lie. Like the see. auntie and the uncles. Of <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Like, we ah, get it. We yeah. got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, got we, can, it. we have that kind of places in Taipei. Oh, Taiwan do? as well. Yeah, of course. Of but course. it's called like K- KTV, right? No, K- it's not KTV. called KTV. Oh. Karaoke. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but we, we have like stuff for, for elderly people mm. for them to mix and mingle. So okay. <laughs> yes. Mix and mingle. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the political mix way to mingle. say it, right? Mix right? and mingle. <laughs> mix yes. <and> mingle. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. How about kebakura? Like, what can you do at kebakura in kebakura, Japan? Kebakura, you just sit there, drink expensive... Champagne? Champagne, whiskey, shochu, beer, and then pretty girls sit next to you. And you talk to them. That's it, right? Just That's talking. It. That's and it. you have, like, like the guests have to constantly opening up more and more expensive champagne or they don't have to? Uh, it really depends on that girl. Oh, Usually, uh, if, if you she's, want, like, really oh. smart and she can drink a lot, she'll just, like, you know, kind of control. Oh, uh, just, like, make you... Manipulate. yes. How much money, like, do you think people usually spend when they go a to... A lot. A lot? Like, like, how much a night? Um, depends on what you drink, but champagne... 
pain in Kyabakura is usually the cheapest one is from 40,000, 50,000 yen. Oh, oh shit. Wow. That's beyond our budget. We can't go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if you don't drink champagne, just like regular shochu or like whiskey, for example, I think cheaper. 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 But, but girls probably won't talk to you for that oh, long, shit. right? No, no, they have to. They have so to? like there's a staff who makes a girl go around the table. Oh, so they each rotate. Girl, I think it's like five minutes to 10 minutes and they rotate. Oh, and then wow. if you want to request, that's make her stay plus 3,000 yen or oh, something. I see. I see. So where can we go? Like we can like touch boobs and stuff. Like that's different. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that's different. That's, that's, that's a different place. <laughs> okay. But there what, is. What, what are those places called? <laughs> Um, uh, what <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm putting I'm you on the spot. Because there's different ways of saying. Because all in all, it's fuzoku. Fuzoku. Yes. Uh -huh. It in kanji you write it wind, and then zoku is like troop. Fong su. Fong ah, probably, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, fuzoku is like in general, and uh -huh. then from there, there's different branches, and then you. For example, only touching boobs or only like how do you say in English term like the girls just for delivery naked do everything. Uh, uh, what do you mean like like jerking off for you and stuff? No, no. So that's all I like know. for example, the customer is there and there's a company. They go to the hotel. They call the company to bring the girl. Oh, oh, escort. I see. Escort. escort, escort, yeah, escort. escort. <laughs> but. And he, here in Japan, there's it's illegal, escort. Isn't it? No, no, no. No, it's, it's all legal, but. Um, escorts that you don't go all the way and the ones that you do go all the way. So oh, that's a different so that's branch. Still so different complicated. Branches. Yes. Wow. And then the one only for boobs and the weirdest one is like, okay, so you go to this like weird basement <laughs> store which is very, very like, e I don't have the guts to go myself. But anyways, my friend went there the other day and then he was like saying, so he was escorted to this room and then from that room, it's like, other guys are sitting next to you, but there's a barricade. Uh -huh. And then there's like a show window, uh -huh. which you can see from here, from, but then they cannot see. Uh -huh. you know, Just so like one side mirror kind one of One side mirror, yeah. And then there's girls doing random stuff, like right. almost naked, like bikini, mini skirt. Right. And then they're just doing whatever. They're just like eating or changing clothes. So it's kind of like... And then they just look at it. Peeping Tom. Like, it's kind of like Peeping Tom. Almost. Something like that. Oh, wow. But it's just like, I don't get it. Like, what's so fun about... Looking girls do doing their daily nothing. stuff. Yeah. yeah, there's like, just so many weird guys. So many weird guys. That's wow. why YouTube is a big hit, I think. Oh wow. Huh. Huh. But I mean, it's so complicated that like, the way you explain it, it's like so many different. Like, yeah. Systems. But I think that just it's means so how not foreigner friendly. But, but, <laughs> but I think just like it just shows you how developed the industry is in Japan because like, it it covers all the bases. Mm. Because mm, like, mm, mm, mm. I, I know that in, in Japan, there's a place called Red Dragon and there's like oh, a yeah. Tola. I used to work there. Red Dragon yeah. and, and Tola, Tola no, no, That's the no, escort. No, no. That's, oh, Tola no is es very, escort. Very, very high-end escort. Yeah, because I, I, my friend who went on a, a bachelor party in Tokyo. Oh yeah, not you, just not me. Friend, <laughs> it's uh, really yeah, everything expensive. is about your friend. <laughs> no, because, <laughs> because it's high end. It's high end, right? <laughs> yeah. Super. So, like he was like that place like is crazy. Tola yeah. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah, expensive though. Expensive. So okay, so that's uh, Tola is the uh, escort, mm -hmm. and Red Dragon is Kebakura. Kebakura. High end Kebakura. So you used to work there. Yes, when, when they you just were opened also. it, like maybe around. Almost 10 years ago, I was one of the first staff member. Oh. For the opening staff. Yeah, opening staff. Oh. Like, why? That's after you finish your AV career um, or during your AV career? Or towards the end? I uh. think it was towards the end. Then maybe more than 10 years. I don't remember. Uh. I just remember I had to go there because one of the company that I was in opened up that Kepakura. Oh. Mm. So, and then do, there's, do they force you to no, say? No. Like, I know they don't force you, but they're just like, you know, it's like you're in a labor. <laughs> <everywhere. Yeah. laughs> Can you go? Like our movie premiere us. manager, like used to, <laughs> 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 to please a truck driver. Oh. Huh. So, but what was it like for you to work? But then there? it was, um, no, nothing. I mean, like it, it was just a real, like, just chatting. Just a, just a chat, drinking. And then I kind of liked it because that's the place when I got to see my, like, fans. Because oh. when it opened, it was in the news. Like, it was very big hit. Because mm. all the fans were like, when they wanted to see, like, the girls that they like, mm. it was only to attend a 
event or to talk to them or DM them and wait for their reply forever. Yeah. So when Red Dragon opened, that was their first time being able to meet them, drink with them and talk with them. That's actually really smart. And be friends with them. Yeah. And depending on the girl, of course, you could go out like drinking after work or before work. So I think it was a really good thing for them too. Yeah. So it was a very big hit. So after that, they got a second Kepakura version of Red Dragon. I forgot the name. Oh. But it was more of like the touchy touchy. Oh, more ah. more touchy kind of. So I think the boss was like, okay, maybe we could do another business. <laughs> oh, I see. But but those kind of places are not really foreigner friendly though, right? It's more. I is there anything friendly. that's foreigner friendly? Like I don't anything? Know. If no, you I... know the girl who works there or f whoever has the connection to places that knows that allows the foreigners okay but then you can't There's language like, barrier randomly. is a big thing right super yeah super, because super. we find that most people in japan they can't they, speak, they can speak yeah. english how about like host club like but girls. because like that's that's one of for kylie's dream like yeah she i want to go to a oh, host we club. tried to learn japanese a few years ago that like, to go to we, we, uh, one we of our goals go to Kebaku together yeah so that we can go to, to kebakula together <laughs> yeah and then like <laughs> and go to a host club together host club and then like being able to communicate and be happy and then we the, gave up that dream because we, <laughs> we, so right we have no talent in learning <laughs> your language what? <laughs> <Why? laughs> it was so bad was it a big thing like the Where? host club the the yeah guys, right? super, super, to go? super have you been super. yeah a lot how was it is it fun um, yeah, I mean, it's one of the places that like it allows you to drink as much as you want because it's your own money, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Like, for example, like when you go out drinking with your friends mm. and like go to the izakaya restaurant, whatever, yeah. you can't really, you, you need to limit yourself. Like yeah. you don't want to embarrass yourself, right? Exactly. But then if you go to those places, it's expensive because it includes all of that. It's they let you go wild. Yeah, much. and oh. then the girls know that, so it's not like they go wild on purpose. But then manipulated. I have a sense. <laughs> yeah, manipulated. <laughs> the guys make you feel safe to do it there. Right? Yeah, and yeah, I I don't mind. I, it's not like I go crazy, but then it's one of the places that I go sometimes when I just want to like go out, vent, and drink all the way. You know, is it oh. expensive? Mm. It really depends. But if you are a first timer, I think it's just like a few thousand yen. Oh. Okay. That's doesn't And then it comes bad. with like a, those mini bottles, uh -huh. like okay. shochu bottles. Mm -hmm. And from the second time or the third time, I think. I wish champagnes. How much the would they cost? <laughs> 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 like for you, how much? <laughs> I don't drink champagne. Oh, you don't drink I champagne? I just drink like tequila okay. and. Oh, tequila. Oh. Shochu and yeah. So okay. pretty much like maybe 10,000 yen, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah. Could be. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. 10,000 is not, yeah. not bad at all. But just like But then only on your first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like second, oh, third shit. time. Oh, there's like oh, I can't there's pretend that tiers. I'm always the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you could go to all those like 10 different random host clubs <laughs> at one time. And then you could get drunk 10 times. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. That sounds really good. We'll okay. try to get in. Mm. But like. I really need to pee. You want to try, right? I you really pee. want to try. Okay. Oh, Can you, I go pee? Okay, oh, that's taking a break. break. That's sorry, a break. I drink too much <laughs> drinks. Sorry. Be careful. Ah, sorry. Okay, so um, that's start with your career in AV. Okay. Yeah. Like, well, you started the AV career really early, right? At, at 18? 18, yes. Like, right, right when you after, turned 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you choose this career path? Um, well, when I was, like, starting from, like, 16 or so, I already started working part-time, like, random places. And then when I turned 17, and then my parents were like, so are you going to college? And I'm like, nah. And then he's like, do you want to go back to Canada? I'm like, it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's actually from Canada. Oh, really? No, well, I was there for 10 years. I was oh. there from grade 9 to like, I don't know. I was there... My family, my whole family immigrated there. Oh, that's in, nice. In Victoria. You know where Victoria is? Yes. Yeah, Never been there island, though. That, that little island. And I went that's to nice. uh, Toronto for college. Wow. And then I moved to Vancouver for uh, for work. Isn't it cold yeah. and boring? Toronto is very cold. Like, it's more fun now, but back in the days, it's kind of boring. Right? Back yeah. in the days, Canada was like, Really boring. Why? Yeah. Just like now it's like the North Hollywood, right? <laughs> now it's the like North Hollywood. There's more stuff to do. But mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. I agree. Yeah. So, so anyways, that wasn't my option to go back to Canada. So that means I had to work here and then I had to like, you know, 
be more serious. But then I had this idea that after graduating from high school, I wanted to live on my own because I've been working since like 16. I had my savings and I was really, really independent. Oh, wow. So um, I was talking to my parents and without them saying yes or no, I, I was gone already. <laughs> I, I left the house. I was like, thank you for taking care of me for 17 years. I appreciate. Goodbye. Wow. Uh -huh. not, it was but, not really normal in Japanese culture. Right? I don't think so, but some people they really move out very, very oh. early. Oh. Oh, how, wow. how did your parents take it though when you just say like, move out like did that? Did you hurt them feeling? Hurt their feeling? Mm, it was more of like both ways. Like we weren't really as close. Like oh. I was really close with my dad and his side. Because I went to international school. Mm. I was in Canada. Mm. All my friends like spoke English or Japanese. Mm. So wherever I go, I'll go like Shibuya, Roppongi, like with yeah. friends, international friends. But when I can't go home, my brother goes to Japanese school. My mom's pure Japanese. She doesn't really speak English. So we weren't as close. I mean, it's not like we hated each other, but you we weren't You didn't connect. Yeah, we didn't connect. So all in that, all in that, we had like problems in the family, blah, 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 blah. So I just like, okay, I have to leave this house immediately. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's that. And then after I got my own condo, I was working in a um, Kyabakura already. Oh. But that time, the rule was like very, not, not as strict right now. So if you're, uh, if you don't minor? drink, yeah. Oh. If you don't drink, and if you graduated from high school, you were allowed to work. Even though you were under 18? Yeah. Wow. No, I wasn't under 18. No, you after weren't graduate. after graduate. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that was no problem. And then girls who worked there did AV as a side job. Or I don't know if Kabakura was their side job. I don't remember. But mm. they were doing both anyways. Mm. And then they were t telling me all these good stories. And they're like, oh, you know, you could go to overseas for a shoot magazine you get famous playboy blah, blah, blah. and i'm like <sighs> oh wow and then those stories like i had kind of this like dark image of that industry like you know yeah. they're doing it for the money or yeah. they're in trouble so they have yeah. to do it they Somebody's force you forcing to go them. in yeah like with like mobs or, behind it right, mafia. Yeah. <laughs> and yakuza, yakuza controlling yeah, yakuza, everything yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then they cannot run away. Yeah. <laughs> or it's either like they're just sexolic. So that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was my simple image. But yeah. knowing those people and listening to those stories, it really changed the how, how I kind of viewed them and about the industry. And I kind of like uh, researched on my own. Mm. And I saw lots of people. How did you research? Did you go to a library and... No. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> that I was a long time ago, right? No, but, <laughs> we still had internet. Oh, yeah, okay. internet. Okay. Yeah, but but I don't think people at that time would share this kind of information. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. So how did you? So a phone, my phone. I had oh. like I, I bought my own phone, uh -huh. and then the internet, everything was slow and not good. But <laughs> <laughs> and you just keep flip phone, right? It was all flip, flip phone. phone back then. <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's I did my search and I had my laptop anyways at the house. So uh. I was like researching and then I was like different kind of like company and all the AV girls who's famous back then. And then I was like, okay, maybe I will go just for an interview and see how it goes. Mm. And I booked the interview. I went to that office and they were like, so what's the problem? I'm like, there's no problem. I just want to debut as a AV actress. And then they all flipped out and they're like, <laughs> What? Come again? <laughs> <laughs> because they're not used to seeing like, no, a pretty no. girl like you going or in or, or a least, mixed race going no, in. No, no. Because I think I was like the first girl, one of the first girls who debuted in AV for the mixed for, nationality. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. That was, I was kind of lucky. Oh. Like, I, it was easier for me to like go to different... I had different options. Yeah, because everything was new for them. Yeah, yeah, like modeling, everything else. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. There were a lot of opportunities. Like because yeah, you were one of the pioneers. Because after you, then there were more. A lot mixed came race. out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Out. But, but did they treat you differently because you are a mixed race? Like differently? Like what do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Would they like be, racial stuff? Yeah, racials racially discriminate or mm. or just say like, because in that like, industry, no, no, everybody was like very equal, very like respective and they were kind of like saying you know what you're so nice you're talented you could speak english and then you're japanese and you're like you know you could 
go to both countries without any problem. So they were kind of like praising me in a way. Oh. But yeah. before that, when I was in like younger, like elementary school, I was bullied. A in lot. Japan. A they, they bully lot. You? Yeah, because yeah, imagine they do? like 30 yeah. years ago, 35 years ago, mm. mixed race wasn't that popular yet. Oh. Not like today. Yeah. So models, whatever, they're all Japanese. They Or at least they look Japanese. And so I had like more lighter brownish hair back mm. then. My eyes were lighter mm. and my skins were like more white. And I kind kind of looked like a doll, right? Oh. So the guys near the neighborhood would be like pointing fingers at me and then what? like throwing rocks at me. So oh you, shit, throwing wait, rocks wait, is, We're what? talking about Kyoto, uh, Tokyo. Yes. Throwing rocks. This is not Iraq. Like a, this is not Iraq. Not like this huge rock. Like small, small <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Like, people throw like a sand. I thought it was stoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Where I was like, like, I mean, Afghanistan. Uh, like, you're slut. Stone you to death. <laughs> no, right? You were small. Small, small rocks. Okay, like, okay, like okay. sand. Okay. Uh, that was, okay, I shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, and it's still, it's throwing still, stuff. Still, that's not cool, man. I'm bullied a lot. Oh, wow. And, and then my school was like right near my my neighborhood so i'll go to that international school right mm. and then when i go home they're all like pointing fingers at me and saying you're a gaijin gaijin like that oh. what's gaijin, what? gaijin. What? a foreigner oh shit. but in a like a you know slang like a bad way yeah and then i was like why are you, what and then i'll go home and i told my dad like the guy of blah 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 is like always like making fun of me throwing stuff at me pointing fingers and he's like do you want me to talk to him i'm like no but what should I do? And then he's just like, just ignore. Ah, just I hate ignore. that. Yeah. I mean, like, if you go in a fight, of course, it's going to be more trouble, right? Yeah. Mm. And That's yeah. so Japanese. I thought your dad is from Canada. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it was easy for him, I think, to go and beat the shit out of him. But then yeah. he was raised like that when he came to Japan, when he was a kid. Like, he oh, was how? in a lot of fights. And oh, I went to the same school Japan. with him, yeah. Oh, so so he he's Canadian, but he pretty much grew up in. Ca yeah, because the parents Japan. are like missionary. His parents. Are oh. Missionary. Ah. So he had to go to different countries, and like when they came to Japan, he went to the international school that I went after. Mm. So it was really funny when I went to that school. All the teachers are like, not all, but most of them are like his classmates, right? Oh. Or his teachers still there. They're all like, "Are you?" Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah yeah, and oh, I'm wow. like. Yeah, and who are you? <laughs> He's like telling all these stories about how he was bad and how he was like, oh, <laughs> gangster and beating Gangs? people. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> and he was like, all those things. I was like, what? Really? I cannot imagine that. And then this, I still remember this is so funny. Um, so this guy in my classmate classroom his dad was a classmate with my dad and oh. then he randomly came up to me and like hey did you know that your dad was my dad's classmate i'm like no and i don't really care and then he's like your dad kind of like beat the shit out of my dad and then <laughs> <laughs> no it's payback time yeah, yeah. Oh, and, then, like, and then he's like do you know why and i'm like no but i think he had a reason and then <laughs> Your dad Defending probably was an asshole. Dad. Of course. <laughs> and then so he's like, no, he told me his side of the story. But his side of the story or his dad told him that he just randomly came and then like kind of like beat him up. And then that was kind of like bully, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I, I kind of agree. But <laughs> can you wait for a day? I'll talk to my dad and then I'll give you the answer tomorrow. So I go home, wait for my dad to come home. And I'm like, dad, did you beat blah, blah, blah's oh. father before? And then he's like, Oh, you, oh, and he's like, oh, yeah. And he's like, um, well, what did he say? <laughs> oh, there's your, your dad. dad. <laughs> Don't remember shit. And then I told him the story. And then, then I think he remembered everything. And he's like, no, yeah, well, I did, but then there was a reason. And then he was like saying, so during class, he was looking down the window and there's a parking lot and he used to go to the school with his motorcycle, right? Oh. And he had a flag on his, um, I don't know, in the light or some somewhere. Mm. And it was a flag of the American, United States. Mm. And then, but he's Canadian, right? Yeah. yeah. So that, my classmate's dad is American. I don't know, whatever. But he got mad, offended, slash whatever. He went to the bike. He kind of like 
took the flag out and uh. then kind of threw it away. Uh. And he saw that. So he just rushed down. He's like, I don't know what happened, but and then things happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> things happen. Like the flag. <laughs> so that's what he told me. So he's like, he touched my property and then he threw the flag away. Yeah. And if whether he's Canadian or whatever, he has... Like, it's his own bike. He has the yeah. rights to put up any flag he wants, yeah. right? Yeah. So I kind of agreed with him. So I'm like, okay, dad, thank you. I went to school next day. I'm like, yo, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I heard the story. And now I know both stories. I think your dad's piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so then the whole school were like, okay, she's blah, blah, blah's daughter. Of course, she's going to be like that. So then I kind of understood why my dad would always say to me, like, just leave it. Don't do anything. Don't just leave it alone. Like, oh. if you're you're a girl, especially, even put up a fight yeah. with everybody. It's no use. Yeah. But even in an international school, the, the way they do things is still very Japanese, though. The sounds yeah, like. I guess. But it, it was an international school. Yeah, like, just, I know. I but then it was like... Religious schools. Oh, re- oh, ah, okay then. Because like, my friend went to an international school in Kobe. The stories I heard is different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Very one in Kobe different. is like partying all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, when you got into the industry, I mm. mean, what was your, you know, sexual life about? Did you have to like make up your mind or talk to your boyfriend during that time? Or, or did what you, was the process? Actually, did you have sex before you got into the industry? Like, do you know? Was I a virgin? Yeah, yeah. where were you? Before, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so your experience. Yeah, so oh. that was okay. When I, after I debuted, it was like very, I didn't know what to expect, right? Because mm. like, nobody knows. <laughs> I mean, like, if you think about it very, very, like, um, I was like, okay, wait, so from tomorrow, there's gonna let's be camera one, there's gonna be lighting, there's gonna be staff, and then I'm just gonna have sex. Or what am I going to do? Is there going to be a drama? Like everything was like so new. It was, I thought I was crazy. Why did I <laughs> Why did I say yes? But then I had a dream. Like I wanted to be famous. And after being famous, I wanted to like spread spread the, the, the industry itself in mm-hmm. Japan. Because it was getting famous back then. Like people were starting to recognize them as like professional, mm. as work. Yeah. And there were no like different boundaries. So I was like, if I could help that out. By being famous and spreading to people. And I spoke English. So that I thought that if I go to like different countries and like tell the story, it would be nice. Mm. And that kind of went well. And I had lots of friends who's doing modeling and then go to the industry. Which yeah. I think is, it's their choice. So I'm not going to say anything. But I thought that was kind of different. I mean. Unwise? Unwise? No, unwise. unwise. I mean, not unwise. But maybe a little downgrade. Oh, I mean, that you started. If you, you had wanted- that kind of opportunity, you probably wouldn't do AV. Yeah. And there's this like weird saying in Japan that if you're like a talent model, whatever in the different industry from AV and go to AV, kind of like a. It's like uh, you didn't uh, have any like, opportunity. That was the reason why. That's you the did last that. thing that you want to do. And oh. you go there because you're not famous or either that or you don't have money. But if you started as an AV, that's what I thought. Like, yeah. So I was like, okay, if I reverse that and I start from nothing in scratch, and then if I build my own way up, maybe people will look at the industry in a different way. So mm. did you prove that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it I worked out. Right? Now. Yes. It, <laughs> it worked it out. Did. It worked out. It worked you were out. just so famous everywhere. I think I was just lucky. Like that day, like 2007, five. Oh, five, I think, when mm. I um, debuted. I was just very lucky. Thanks to that. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks fun. to the fans everywhere. Yeah. But like, uh, when you started shooting, like, how much time do they give you to prepare for Yeah, did you get a script? Yeah, do you get then? a script? Do you know what you're going to do? Or you just the, show up? So, the day? it depends on the girl and it depends on the company. But then um, there's usually a, like an interview with the producer, like a few days Three to one week before the shoot. Okay. So you go to that company, to the office, and there's the producer, manager, and then me and my manager. And then they have the script already. Uh-huh. And then they will give you, the producer will give you the script, and there will be like, it used to be like two days shoot. Uh-huh. 
back in the days. And then there'll be like day one, we're going to do this. Day two, pictorial, and then that scene. And mm. then you check what you can do, what can you not do. Oh, so you can oh. actually say no to stuff that you don't want to do. If you are famous, famous and oh. long enough in the industry, you kind of get to know that they're kind of trying to cheat on you. I mean, like in the paper, it says this, but then when you go there, it's different, you know? Yeah. So you really have to talk to them and then make them write down. It's only this like that. Ah, yeah, because have I… Have ever been caught off guard? Yeah, doing, that's… They ask you to do something that you didn't agree to? You have? No, 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 no. Oh. That's why we were wondering. Like, yeah, they yeah. do. They do. A lot. Every time. Oh. And some of the girls, they don't really… They cannot say, right? They cannot fight back. That's why back in the days, I think the managers were with them throughout the whole shoot. But then oh. after like few years or whatever, the um, the girls got famous or the industry itself got really famous. Um, I think the managers, they didn't have enough manager per industry or like the, oh. the office or the… Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the girls had to go on their own. So that was the tricky part. Like when they oh, have shit. To, oh, the girls have to negotiate everything themselves? No, so that's no, why like they have the, the interview. Oh, go on, on go the set. Oh. So that's why they have the interview. Oh. To make sure that this is what they're going to do. So the managers always feel helpful and try to help the girls? Yeah. Or not necessarily the case? Depend on the guy. Yeah, you see. Yeah, really, well, really depend on the guy. Yeah, sometimes don't they just say… I just like try just to talk you into doing something. Yeah, that just like they're they just don't get the paycheck, right? Yeah, right? Uh, they're with them. It's yeah. possible. Possible. But actually, it depends on the company. If the company is good enough and they are a well known company, they yeah. hire very, very like professional, professional yeah. or like open minded managers. The managers who will be on the girl's side no matter what and don't be washed away by money. Mm-hmm. So, but then some company is just small and then they just started. They just hire whoever, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, there's like managers I've been seeing a lot with this girl that they get in a fight at the set, right? Oh. And the girl's like, I don't want to do this. I can't do this. Sometimes girls just randomly say, I don't want to do it because they're tired or they're <laughs> just a brat. So, that, <laughs> then, <laughs> so that, that I don't care. Like it's, it's her fault. But sometimes when you really listen to what they're arguing about, it's about when guys don't understand because it's about the body function of the girls. Like, for example, when you get your period on that day, oh. you… It's like you feel like you mass murder. You want to kill everybody because <laughs> like, it's like it's, oh, okay, we have to we have to stop. Let me rest for two hours. Uh. But in a way, I know you, that's you cannot do that because they're all in limited time and yeah. in the studios until yeah, the like staff 12. cannot wait for you for two hours. Yes, yeah. but. It's either like, do you do you want to get killed or can you wait for two hours? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Like, but what kind of stuff would you say no to? Like, what, uh, like for for yeah, the check Yeah, what's your mind? mind for you? I wasn't really into the drama scenes of where there's like violence. Oh, because ah. in Japan they are really big, big about raping yeah. and violent and like group group, group. Fa- yeah a uh, group, group fa- yeah. yeah oh group, shit group uh. rape, you know, so rape. yeah so that i was like I, I know it's fake and i know it's popular but in me it was just like too realistic like yeah. uh. I, you know even though it's like everything's fake and the you know the cast and crew they're all nice but then i just didn't like it so mm. that i I tried it one or two times. I didn't like it. So after that, I never did it again. Oh. So you had the negotiator, yeah. negotiating yeah. power. So that's oh, your that's line. good. Okay. okay. Hmm. Let's take a break. Yeah, that's another take break. Take a break. Uh, I mean, when you meet like male actor on mm, set, mm. I mean, have you ever… Most of them are for the first time, right? You have not usually met them before. Usually. The first year, maybe second year, usually… First time. First mm. time. Yeah. I, I mean, do you guys need to like talk to each other to warm that, up the vibe? Or? No, not exactly. But um, when you're in the makeup room, they come and say hi in the morning and like okay. introduce themselves. And was just, it awkward? It. Be like, oh, this is the one I'm gonna fuck later. Um, everybody like, was well, only the first year, probably, right? Only yeah. the first year, but um, I usually try not to be too f- friendly. Not friendly, but then like friends with them because that's going to be awkward. 
So I I just like oh. I don't know them. That's easier because oh. it's it's just work, right? Yeah, and it's just gonna be finished. That's true. So you never ask them out in a private date for your private never, date, never, never, even never. though they're like really hot, impressed. Impress. I'll just have fun during the shoot. I don't know how it works though. Like you have to separate, just like separate work from like your emotion. Yeah, like get atta- disattached. Mm, detached. I don't know. I wasn't just like I don't know. I ne- I never mixed those two together. Oh. It was just work is work. And oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't but think some I could girls do that. they get married with the, the exactly, actors. Yeah. exactly, because yeah. you might fall in love because you are working. You kind of be engaging, and right? Then, right. Yeah, and you then, forgot about the boundary, right? And then after a couple of times, you see them on set. You but know, I've hey, seen, how are you doing? yeah, <laughs> do you want to just have a drink later? <laughs> but I've seen <laughs> lots of girls. <laughs> you see that's, but that's that's the humans. probably male actors ask you for drinks after, right? I'm sure. They're, Mm, some, 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 some. Okay. But I've seen lots of girls who regret it being too close oh. with the male actors. So, because oh. they get hurt, right? They get hurt in a way. It's nobody's fault because they meet at their set, right? Yeah. yeah. And then girls have their friends. Guys have their friends. And then yeah. when these two get together, the other girls get jealous. Or oh. the girlfriend get jealous because now your boyfriend's having sex with the, your friend. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, that's, oh, so, that's complicated. so complicated. But you can't say anything because it's, it's work. work. And if you deny that, you're denying yourself as a porn star. Yes, because I, she's doing the same thing yeah. to other people. And if you say you're having sex with my friends, then that means you're denying the whole industry, which means there's just gonna crumble down. Everything's gonna oh, crumble that's down. True. So, oh my god, oh my god. So but deep. you're so professional. Like, that's so deep. It's very <laughs> deep. Very. That's why I never have any feelings. I shut off my humanity when I see them. <laughs> you're just a machine. I'm nothing. You're yes. You're just a machine. yes, I'm just <laughs> nothing. <laughs> wow, but you hang out with other girls. Yes, girls? yes, 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 yes. So people that are close or like you? they really it's a supportive. Oh, so it's a supportive yes, community. Yes, it's like a yes. community. People Super. don't backstab each other. Um, some. Of course. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that girl yeah, backstabbing. That girl. <laughs> But yeah. it's a supportive mm. environment. Like, oh, what do girls good. like help each other? Like, what do they? What do you guys help each other? Because usually, with? not all, but some of them they join the industry because you know they're like money wise oh. or they're like in trouble or something like that. So they have a strong bond, right? Mm. And even though everybody has a different um, reason when they join the industry, when you're in the same industry, you just get together. Like you bond because you're in the same. Yeah. Workplace and you get bashed the same way, yeah. and yeah. you know what they've been through. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. then yeah. But don't you like it seems your friends as girls, but don't you need to like touch each other and have sex on the same set? But yeah. sometimes, girls, sometimes, 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 some of the films are like that, yeah. right? Yeah, like girl, so girl. But then awkward. You get to choose. Oh. If you can or if you cannot. One time I had a producer talk to me and said we want to shoot like a female. AV. Uh-huh. And then they were like saying, we're thinking if she can join you. And I know you guys are very close. So are you okay oh. to film that? Because I know you guys going to get emotional. So I was like, uh, let me talk to her first. And then we talked and she was like, I uh, I don't know. Because we're friends. So if we're on set, we cannot be like, the sexy star or like oh, we cannot guys, be you, the AV star. U- 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 kiko, yeah, you know, we were like fun. when we have like kiss or like touching each other, we were gonna laugh for sure. That's true. Oh, oh that that makes sense. So yes. you have to have zero feel for me though. Yes. Oh. You that have to sense. have zero feelings. Wow. So much easier we don't have no emotion. So much easier. But like during like those like sex scenes mm. when you're filming, like do you enjoy them? Or do you just say it's work? Mm. I don't know. Or you just fake everything? 
<laughs> so that's, that's good that's good acting you know, I gotta say with all the videos that you've seen you know that's good acting oh my god it's pretty good um, well, <laughs> is it okay to say yeah of course of course um that 50-50 because okay. it really uh, it's not like me in real life <laughs> what are you talking about like 90, 90 your, your uh, husband yeah, is out yeah, yeah. <laughs> drinks from uh, Maria Zawa <laughs> It really happy. depends. <laughs> uh, depends on the guy. I mean, of course, like, if it's like a hot guy and then like macho and like your type, of course you're going to enjoy. But then it's not like same as the one that you have not when you're working. Yeah, uh, like in, in private life. In private yeah, life. in the private life. Mm. But still, it's not like I don't enjoy it. But you have to to work, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you got like it's the, weird. You, yeah. But it, it was like a different emotion. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, join the industry, does that change your views towards sex? Because, okay, when I was young, okay, I remember talking about how I want to be a prostitute when I was young. Like okay. 10 years old. Because then she saw she want to have sex all the yeah, time. I can have sex and make money at the same time. Now I know, of course, it's wrong. But when I was young, I was like, oh my God, this is like the best job in life. Because uh, <laughs> you, you really want to have sex really back in the day. I really wanted to have sex. Oh, and I okay. got it really early mm -hmm. too. But so, like… Did joining the industry change the way you view sex? Um, yes, it's harder than I thought. Yeah. Because in your private life, like one or two times is the most that I did before. Like maybe oh. three. But then, <laughs> <laughs> but during the, those work days, from morning to night, you have like three or four sets that you have to have scenes with the guys. Uh -huh. And then other than that, it's like drama scenes, pictorial. So it's really hard. I was really, you get really exhausted. Like yeah. very, very tired. It's like more than going to the gym. Like you're <laughs> literally really tired. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then, all those positions that looks pretty yeah. on camera, those are hard, right? Like your core have to I engage. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. that your, your voice that you have like, to go, go up. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> that was hard. It, yeah. I just, maybe I thought it is, as like a more easier way. Maybe I thought. Mm. It, but after joining the industry, I, I kind of, it made me notice that every, every industry is like, Hard, you know, there's yeah, like yeah. down or there's both downside yeah. and upside. Then oh. how did you have sex after work and then yeah, pretend that you're like, still having a lot of energy with your boyfriend? Like how, that would be hard. No, how, yeah, that was the hard work? part. Yeah. That's so hard. How do you tra transition from work to private? Like your your mode, how do you change? Mm, I just don't do anything. No. So instead of a machine, you got a, you got like a mannequin, <laughs> a fish, a dead fish, a dead fish. I'm so no, tired. No, no. You do you, me do me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or do you need to put on schedule with your boyfriend saying, okay, this day I'm, um, I'm off from work, so we can have sex this day, but not other. Any other work day? <laughs> I don't remember, well, but Kylie, you really thought this through. Oh, yeah, of <laughs> I think that depends on the guy also because some of the guys at first they're like, "It's okay, it's work, I understand," and they work like what, like in clubs or a bartender. Yeah. They, you know, they do the same thing. But one time, I had a guy who told me when I came home from work, out of respect after my shoot, I will always like, you know. Take a shower, make up off, and then go home. Yeah. And then I think that was stress for him. Like he's like, you know that smell of that shampoo pisses me off. And I'm like, what? What shampoo? What the fuck? Like, so what do the you want fuck? me to smell yeah. like guys sweat? And then he's like, <laughs> that's that not you, what you I like, mean. You like male semen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, what? You're gross. And then he's like, no, that's not what I meant. But then every time you come home like that, I just imagine. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, we talked about it. It's not like it was a secret. And I just randomly told you that I'm like a AV star. You knew and you yeah. chose that. And now you're dissing that. Yeah. Like, he's that's dissing not your fair. Career. Yeah. And then I understand, like, I cannot never go out with a male AV star because I'm the type that would, um, I'm very territorial. Uh -huh. So if I, like my friend's story, if I just imagine about my boyfriend going to work with my friend, 
And that whole day, I might not think about it. But when he comes home and he tells me, that, oh, today it was work with so-and-so. And I'm like, so... So that bad. bitch. <laughs> 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 but of course I can't do that and I cannot say that and okay. I won't say that so I chose not to be with them no yeah so but then that that boyfriend that time was like saying something like that so I was like that's not fair that's not yeah. fair and then we got into a fight and he's like you're cheating your your oh, job cheating. is like cheating oh. you're having sex with other guys and why am I not supposed to have sex I'm like come on you do and then he's like what you do you know I know, I know. <laughs> then go earn more than me. And then we broke up. <laughs> Was that guy Japanese? Yes. Oh, shit. Very controversial, though. Yeah. Oh. But I thought, like, in Japanese culture, that's what I heard, though. Like, in Japanese culture, like, a lot of guys cheat on their girlfriend all the time. Because they yeah. have multiple girlfriends at the same time. That's what they I do? heard. Really? That's what I heard. Uh, he got all the rich friends. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's You know, why. that's not, you know, the country doesn't matter if you have money. Everybody uh, yeah, that, is, that right? is true. Right? That is true. That is true. But I mean, I, I feel like your, you know, boyfriend, whatever, ex-boyfriend was probably insecure. That's a problem. To Maybe. All guys. And then yeah. we were very young. Yeah. yeah. And but, then how, how, so when you have sex with them, like in private lives, how did you boost out their confidence yeah because right they probably there. compare themselves to the, all the yeah, stars sometimes, right? sometimes, they're like professional yeah. they're like so nervous about it and like, am I doing okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they were yeah, so a little feel. too sincere you sound a little too sincere <laughs> is she faking it what the fuck <laughs> it feels <laughs> like fake enough it feels loose today <laughs> <laughs> they tell me that Do you need to say anything like, to make them feel comfortable. Uh, even I'm not in the industry. I have to do so much. <laughs> I can't imagine what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> like the, some guys, not not too many, but they will compare themselves, right? So they're yeah. like, yeah. do you like this position, that and that? Uh, what do you like? I'll try to, you know. <laughs> they they said they'll try to. Oh, but then it's just it. like, it's different. Like, you know, porn is porn. This is this. But then it, it will be nice if we have something like, you know, little extra. Like, yeah. you know, not every time we'll just like, you know, go to bed and have sex and sleep. That's mm -hmm. kind of boring. But then if you just like, you know, kind of like try to do different variation. Like, for example, like cosplay. Yeah. Ah, or I like that too. Different, yeah. different variation every time. Then I think. It's okay for both of us because we both can have fun, right? Mm. Yeah. But I'm yeah. not really into those position stuff. Like, it's really tiring. And <laughs> Spring your neck. And <laughs> next, People get hurt. Mm, right? And then the next day, you're really like sore everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to work. <laughs> yes. So maybe I was lucky in a way that I was, I did a few crazy people but not too crazy in the sex life like oh, they they were okay, okay with doing like few positions and few different places and then like cosplay or something different every time mm -hmm. was okay enough yeah. so i was very lucky like ah. i was with like oh i want to do a helicopter with you Ooh. and i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> so you've heard crazy stories from yes 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 yes, oh, yes, wow. yes. <laughs> but how do you communicate communicate with your boyfriends like when they first meet you like mm. do, they, do they know what you do for a living or do they not or they um, pretended not to know who you are but yes. actually, actually know like on the third date or something they're like you know I kind of I, actually I I knew that you were Maria Zawa are yeah, you Maria Zawa and I'm like okay bye <laughs> <laughs> so you don't but like then, people actually, who no, know no that was when I was young like I had this like stupid pride right so I was like if you knew why didn't you tell me first blah 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 mm -hmm. but like few but how can times, they say I mean did you use fake name on no, what? no, no. Then you're Maria, you're Maria. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows. So when I go out, they're like, what's your name? I'm, I say, Maria. Yeah. And yeah. then they're like, okay, hi, Maria. And then that was it. But when you start dating them, it's totally different. Yeah. Right? So thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was kind of hard. But, but as like, you get older. Yeah, but still, I, I feel like, I know it's a stereotype, but Japanese guys are pretty much not as open-minded as other yeah. cultures. Yes, so yes. Do you still date a lot of those people or you prefer other culture background? Uh, <laughs> Is that a better way uh, that's to PC, say it? That's PC. That's PC. Yeah. Other background. race. <laughs> other race. Other race. <laughs> Where is open? But, but actually, um, 
When I went to the Philippines, I was very surprised how open-minded they were about yes. the industry. Like even girls, they are very, very supportive. And um, the guys, well, the guys, of course, right? But then when I have compliments from the girls, it feels like I've, I've, I've achieved something. Like, you know, like girls, usually they don't cheer on their boyfriend when they like a special <laughs> AV star or anybody. <laughs> like, they, and then they thank you. They send you a thank you no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like what? That. And then like some girls are like, even though the guy are like clicking likes on Instagram models, mm. they get pissed off. Yeah. But some, most of the <laughs> girls that I saw in the Philippines, they're very supportive. They're like, oh, mom, I'm very like fan of you. And I get messages like, it's my husband, my friend, my cousin birthday can i have a greeting and oh. he's your fan and i'm support you guys i'm like oh wow thank you because that won't ever happen here in japan oh. but yeah. it's the same in taiwan though like really? yeah in taiwan we view a lot of like the japanese av stars as saints yeah we call them saints we yeah, call, we call, them, we call saints. them like buddha or something. yeah it's like buddha you know like, <laughs> like you I, guys sacrifice yourself yeah you guys put yourself out there the to please the whole population <laughs> You guys created world peace. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know I think so too. In a lot of ways, we yeah. We are a peacemaker. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. the only time like Chinese Chinese people and Chinese people can make peace. Yeah. yeah online, like, because like, be online, Taiwanese and, and Chinese people, like sometimes we fight a lot, right? But yeah. but you know when you go to those like AV forums. It's so peaceful. Yeah, everybody loving each other. Everybody's like, oh, thank you so much for sharing this. Oh, <laughs> you know, thank you so much for sharing the link. Oh, this is the best. Yeah, this is the best. Oh, thank you for sharing Maria Ozawa. I haven't seen her video for a long time. Thank you so much. Oh. Stuff like that. It's so peaceful on AV forums. You have no idea. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like that. That's good to know. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, so in Japan, people still see the AV... You would say uh, AV industry or people, AV workers is like, you know, um, not, kind, not as like it's getting celebrities. better. As celebrity. I mean, as some, like some, respect some. to celebrity. Um, not as much. But I think it's getting better and better because there's mm. lots of girls who've made it to the um, modeling or they have their own radio show or they're on television. So more famous girls are coming out. And then more yeah. younger girls, the younger generations are starting to look up on just like cute girls. Like they don't really mind what they did before. Oh, they I just see. like them because whatever they're doing right now. So if they're a model, they have their own yeah. lingerie line. Uh, like Ki Kilala, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, yeah. that, yeah. She's, she's like, I think she's super famous, famous yes. in Japan. Who's mm. Kilala? Ming Zhu Hua Qiu. Ah, okay. Right? You know who she <laughs> no, is? Yeah. Sorry, I need to know the Chinese translation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. So the girls just, they like for who they are. So I think that's very different from back then. Mm. I think it's really inspiring because I think girls like you and because we think you know, you are who you are and you say what you think, your regret, but good things, positive things, bad things. You're so open about it. Oh. It's, it's really good for a lot of girls because a lot of, like me, because I was like sexually, you know, active when I was young. <laughs> younger. <laughs> younger. <laughs> younger. <laughs> Not now anymore. But uh, it, I didn't have anyone to talk to, you know, d during that time because Taiwanese culture is still comparatively oh, pretty conservative. Okay. And then the parents would think, oh, it's not good. You know, I had a boyfriend when I was really, really young mm. and he's like super old. But uh, mm. <laughs> so it, it's really inspiring when I see someone who's been through all this in the AV industry and they're willing to talk about her story mm. and then they're open about it. It's really yeah. inspiring. We, we love oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 But uh, I know that you have been to like uh, go to a lot of um, different countries yeah. for, for mm. tour and work. Yes. And I used to uh, go to school in China. Mm. And I have a, this I have this Japanese classmates. Mm -hmm. Like he say, his job back then was to help Japanese companies and Chinese companies to sign contracts. Oh, okay. But in order to get the contract signs signed, he have to bring out some Maria Ozawa, some my like, AV <laughs> actors from huh? Japan really? to China to get things done. Oh yeah, I yeah. think they have it now till now. This oh, day. so still they they have to. They do. Oh, so not to like bring those like, big business contracts, but yeah. they I think they still. That's going on. Still, the, just yeah. to entertain business. I, I've heard, yeah. Oh, I mean, see. do you need to meet up with Shacho, the like, company yeah, owner? Like, 
Hey, yeah. Sometimes you got offers that if you go to that dinner, then you have to go that kind of stuff. Dinner prob ah uh, me yeah. yeah oh uh no no no, no. but um I had offers there they'll be like oh so and so is here in town can you go meet him and I'm like for dinner or and then they're like I think both I'm like mm. what do you mean both <laughs> like what both dinner and <laughs> and 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 after, and, and that. after dinner. Oh shit! And I know it's not just gonna end in dinner. Yeah. And if you go to the hotel, for example, I am pretty hundred percent sure you have to stay over, and it's gonna be complications, yeah. language barrier. So sometimes it's just like if if I think I'm going to overwork, I just <laughs> say no. But have it, have they ever like give you like a big stack of money right here? Is that do you want to go? In Indonesia, I had that. I had a oh, I had an event in Bali, and I've said this to several interviews before. But it was like a club event. And I forgot where in Bali, but it was like huge club, right? Yeah. So this guy saying he's like the prince of something, uh -huh. and then but he kind of looked like he has like all the bling blings and jewelry, yeah. and he has like <laughs> ten bodyguards. Oh wow! And legit. Oh, that rich. looks like, really legit. Wow, that's, that's, I, I, like, that's like, that's oil rich. I know. <laughs> that's like, like oil rich. Wow, wow. <laughs> I know, right? And then, no joke. And then all the club managers and they were all like, oh, thank you for, for, for coming. And then he's like super v -V -V VIP. And then he came to my um, show and then I had like a talk show and dance show and then um, pictorial with the fans. And then that was it. So I was like in my waiting room and then we were drinking with the staff and then the staff came with him and then usually I tell the managers or the guards to not to bring in like guests inside mm. the private room because uh -huh. it's tiring. And then, but then they brought him in. So I was like, what? But then they couldn't say no to him because he's, he's VVIP. super VVIP. And then, in, you know, uh, well, I don't want to say anything negative, but <laughs> you know, you never know what happens there. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, that was really hard and scary experience because he was like, you know, I didn't know how much that was in yen, but it was a stack of money. And then was it like, US dollar or or, no, or that, Indonesian? Yeah, Indonesian, Indonesian no. money. So, but it's it's just a huge fast stack. Yeah. And was, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then with that, what comes after? Like, do I have anything else? I get like a key for something. Uh, yeah. Or, Apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what's the color of the key. <laughs> but it was too scary. Like it was it's too good to be true, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who stacks money money to a girl and then goes off? It's always gonna be in trouble. Yeah. So yeah, like a trap. Oh yeah, yeah like a trap. Like Bad imagine like being with him. Maybe he might not let me go back to Japan. Like yeah. they can do that, really. Yeah, yeah. So Come on, you got ten bodyguards to help him out, do whatever, right? Right. Yeah. Like easily I will be like in pieces. So I said yeah. no. Oh yeah. that was like scary and thank God, stay safe, man. Yeah, yeah. Stay, yeah safe. stay safe. Thank you. Seriously. Hmm. Or, I mean, do when you walk on the street in Japan, do people recognize you? Do you feel yeah? Like scared and stuff. I mean, do you um, need bodyguards? No. People you? are very shy here. Oh. So they just like stop and you? stare. Yeah. I stop and stare. <laughs> stop and stare. <laughs> they don't say, can I take selfies? No. Here, no. no. By, but by then in this area, right? like Shinjuku oh. area, there's lots of uh, oh. people who works in Omise and they're in the industry. So they're really very like used to it. Mm. So not like, not much, but other places. Philippines, they're open all the way. They mm. would just come running at you oh. and they'll be like, hi, oh, can I take a picture with you? Or like, oh. can you take a picture with Yeah, that's full on celebrity status. Yeah. That's really nice though. I never had that experience before here. So when I first went to the Philippines, I was just very, I was very happy. Like, oh, thank you for knowing me. And why do you want to take a picture with me? I mean like, mom, you're a celebrity. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Yes, you are. Yeah. I mean, when no, you went to Taiwan, I'm sure you got the same. Yeah, I think Probably. yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. yes. I'm pretty sure like outside of Japan, every other Asian country see you yes. as a celebrity. Yes. Right? Oh my god, living Buddha. No, <laughs> no, 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 seriously, 
seriously, no joke. If you walk on the street in Taiwan, there would be a huge crowd. Wow. <laughs> People yeah. will follow you. It's like, People are, oh my, oh my God. God. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? Yeah. really? I, I, we told so many friends, uh, so many people that yeah, we're coming here. Yeah, we're bragging about it. Yeah, we're, Come actually, on, we be have honest. been literally bragging to our friends really? saying, we're bragging. meeting with Maria Ozawa and everyone was like, what? Oh, how did you get to know her? Like, like, yeah, you don't understand how much like, bragging rights we have right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, Mar- to yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to that. And drinking with Maria Ozawa. Because when we were doing our podcast, and he always have his extended legs, and he always had touch no, my I, feet. I, I'm, I'm shy. I don't want oh, to okay, 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 accidentally <laughs> kick her. Don't accidentally kick her. Okay, she's our guest. So, what's yeah. her next step? What, what What would you want to do? Mm. It really depends on the COVID. Well, since it's like already, well, it's not over, but people are like starting to like really. Not care. Not care. We were Mm -hmm. used to it already. And um, I was thinking if I could go back to the Philippines to really concentrate on the lounges. But I have mixed feelings also because there's things that I want to do here in Japan. Also, like I really want to own my bar again. Ah, your jacuzzi bar. Yes. Uh, Big enough to put the jacuzzi on. Because it's good money. I I mean, if you are looking for any partners, we'll. And partners, we, visitors, anything. We'll we will here. rent out we'll the bar and do podcasting. Yes, oh, we will. Yes. We will. We're going to we have our live that. podcast event uh, yeah, on actually- Sunday. Yeah, we're doing a live podcast event on Sunday and we, we're selling tickets, like 100 tickets and, and it's it, sold out right here. Right away. Like 30, in, 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 within the in, first in, minute. Yeah, within, within two minutes. Within the first minute. Yeah, Whoa. that's like, Vendor speaking audience here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that was our first trial. So, okay, then maybe. Then we will do this globally. Yeah, yeah. we'll do this globally for, to have fun. But I mean, if you need like anything, like if you like some Taiwanese audience, we'll love to be part of it. <gasps> yeah. Please do so, let us know. We are friends. Yeah, I hope we, will, we are friends. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> we'll love. Just let me in and with some like host. Yeah, you speaking, be our, who speak English, uh, I will be willing to pay yeah, like exactly. yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, because like, we don't know any of those parts if they speak English. So we, we just know, like, walk like, by and just feel uh, sad. It's like, oh. I know. Let us know anything. <laughs> anything I'd be willing to pay. I'm okay? I'm like, so sincere. She, she's so sincere. I'm so anything. Sincere. <laughs> anything. Anything, okay? <laughs> Money, people, I'll, I'll, I'll pull out all of my resources, okay? <laughs> you take out a loan. Oh, I'll take out a loan. <laughs> with your kidney. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a lot of lonely wives who will be willing to wives. Yes, I have a lot of wives audience. <laughs> oh. So yeah, so please. your next step is to open up uh, like back uh something bars yeah, in, in something Tokyo. new. That would be nice. But is the economy bad in Tokyo? That's what we we heard. Or it's we getting like inflation is kind of low. In. We're yeah. not as like very you know in the high end. Yeah, like and before. during COVID. Mm, yeah, as well. yeah. Like like the Olympics, I like, just didn't bring in the, that the was tourists, a right? disaster. Like you were here during the the Olympics. Yeah, it was right? last year. What was it like? Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I know she just said it. She just said it. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but still, like, just like no, no one, like, no one was. No visiting. one was allowed to go inside the studium. Yeah. The athletes couldn't come out, right? No, no. But supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> some did. <But laughs> not naming <No>. countries, but <laughs> <laughs> but um I think we were still allowed to surround the studium. So people were like, that made a big um uh traffic jam and people were fighting, you what? know. What? Like because it's too crowded and then the oh. pedestrians and then everybody's like they the, they're in the way. That doesn't make sense. If I, I can't if imagine so Japanese cro- people. No, the thing fighting. is that if you get crowded outside, why don't you just go in? It's gonna be crowded anyway. It's the same thing. Protect the oh the, the athletes. They are oh, more oh, important crazy. than oh, you guys. Yeah. Still, wow, what? So it's so crazy, right? And then yeah. the guards are like, oh, go away. You have you cannot be here. You- yeah, get to go outside but not inside. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> But you're allowed to walk by it, but if you stop, they just like, you're not supposed to stop. But then oh, people did it anyway. That's hilarious. That's so stupid. And then, yeah, it was a disaster. And then when we were watching from TV, it was really boring because, and I felt sorry for the um, competitors also because yes. you need the cheer and the yeah, booing the ener- and everything, the energy. the energy. And then I'm sure when you're in the studio and then you see the, packed people there yeah. that makes you like you know yeah, you energetic. Compete harder, energetic right? yeah. yeah but it's like zero and then you're playing badminton it's like 
It's quiet. <laughs> you, you win or lose, nothing. Yes, but no cheer, no Except cry, no nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. like um, even the Japanese athletes are finally playing on their home ground and no finally, Japanese people right? can come. Yeah, it's I since know. like 1950 or something yes. we had yeah. like Olympic, and then it's like oh my god, disaster. Yeah. yeah, it was supposed to be like the huge event for Japan. Yes, and, and then we had everything all prepared, sticker like the post billboards and everything. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, a lot of hotels open too. Yes. And Just they, for that. They all got and then they had to cancel all the bookings because the foreigners couldn't come inside yeah. Japan. Japan itself lost a lot of money. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. But yeah. it's nobody's fault. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I know it's COVID. COVID. So it's, I think, oh, it's China's fault. No, sorry. No, 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 no. It's COVID's fault. It's COVID's fault. COVID's fault. COVID's fault. COVID's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, open up your another bar. Please let us know if we yes. can. Do anything for you. I would love oh, to. And but we'll, we'll just go visit for, of course, for fun. We'll, it, every of time course. in Japan, I would just of go course. for fun. I know. That's like <laughs> yes. anything. Yeah. Anything. That includes every, anything. Uh, the, anything else you would love to do? Like I saw you being yeah, uploading yeah, you, a lot of YouTube, YouTube channels. Videos, yeah. videos. Yes. YouTube. But then for YouTube, um, I enjoy filming and going to different places. And I see the comments and they're all like, not much um, AV actress does YouTube or they do it, but then doesn't like take it seriously. I mean, I, I'm sure they do, but then not constant uh, updates. And yeah. there are the fans all over the world. They want to listen to them speak English and different languages. Yeah, but you're the but only one who speaks English. Yes. Right? Yeah, yes. you're the only one. So, you are the only one. You know how special you are? I am. The only one. <laughs> you're, you're so special. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, so... The other fans of the other girls will comment or message me saying, can you collaborate with them? And yeah. I have like, um, what's this AI translator on yeah, my yeah. YouTube. So uh, if you don't know English or Japanese, you can at least pick like the main 16 countries. So they're like, can you guest on your show? And then we could just like, you know, pick the language that they like and then they will understand what we're saying. But it's really hard to collaborate with AV actresses now if they're still... In the business or oh, in yeah. their, yeah. Because everything is about, you know. A lot of stuff they can say, yeah. right? Or, or yeah. on the contract. And, True. Yeah. Because you've been following it. I, I follow this girl called Amy Fukada. Amy Fukada. Uh, she's, uh, uh, yeah. she's doing she so well. She is on, very, very famous. Yeah, she's doing so well on but YouTube. But is she still active in the industry? I or think she's she still active. No, she's, she's still, still active in the industry. Yeah, she's still making videos. I don't right? think she is. I don't know. Like I see some new releases. But really? I don't, but I don't know if those videos are shot before or after. But I I see her doing a lot of like YouTube fan channel. meet and greets, right? Like twenty four hours. And, like, and I think it's more. Can I see? I think yeah. it's more of like. Yeah, her videos are, have crazy views, and she's selling like protein powder <gasps> and like number one wow. on Amazon. Amazon. Protein like, powder. It's really funny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like drinking white protein shakes. I was like, oh wow, that's so smart. I would buy it if I was in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know why she's famous because her content is more like in the AV side. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, she she does she talks off. about different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And no like, wonder. Like, a lot of like educational stuff mm, for girls yes. and also for guys. Who doesn't too. Yeah. know the AV industry? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, yeah, and she does a lot of collaborations with I. Like, the other YouTubers, YouTubers in Japan, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And, that's, and TikTok, too. I understand why. Yeah, yeah. Nice. She's cute. Yeah, she's doing pretty well. I haven't for, met her yet, though. Yeah. Oh, can you invite her to the show? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll so try. We'll, we'll try. But, but, I mean, but she doesn't speak English. That's the thing. Like, uh, she doesn't? She doesn't. Uh, yeah, she's she not. Should. Yeah, come oh, on. Me, she, oh, that's okay, why okay. we're saying you're special. I will, <laughs> I will find an AV star who, who speaks Japanese or oh. Chinese. Or oh, Chinese? Yeah, sure, sure. I have a friend who was in the industry. Not AV, but we used to do dancing together, like show dances. Uh -huh. She has a bar in Shinjuku. Mm -hmm. And um, she's half Chinese. And we used to dance together. Oh, and oh nice. She's really crazy funny. Oh, I love like, that. Like, I love that. Like, oh my God. What, you know what? Before, like, I had a thing about Chinese people. Like, I was really digging them. Like, they're smart and they drink a lot. <laughs> and then the way they think was I really liked it because they they're, they're like this right what yeah. they say is like that they don't yeah. like bend their uh, be direct mm, 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 super mm. direct I really really like that but then uh, dating couple of people they were too strong their mm. how do you say their mind I couldn't I couldn't keep up <laughs> with their strong mentality. <laughs> but they're very uh, aggressive. They want to like mm, keep mm, on mm, 
improving, mm. yeah. make money, right? So yeah. that was good, like business wise. I learned yeah. a lot. Like I went to China a lot when I was younger. In mm. the back in the days, I had like club events. I had like meet and greet with them, and yeah. then every time I meet the bosses of that clubs, right? Yeah. And then they're success. They're filthy rich, and they're yeah. smart. They drink like fish like as if it's tap water like, like what the hell yeah so being with them i learned a lot um they were too strong like they were i i i couldn't keep up <laughs> so i went back to japan but yeah but before i let you go because i do have a bit about how i how we're supposed to rate guys based on their uh dick size dick size yes isn't it know their how- nose no, oh, that does, no, 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 really. Based on experience, you, you mean the nose? Don't no, say wasn't something? isn't there a say to look at yeah, their yeah, yeah, or yeah, a yeah, say or like the arm length? No, right? some, some people say the feet size. By oh, that, what do you want? Nothing works. But nothing what, you, what do you want to say? No, because I because I have a bit like a comedy bit, uh, saying that how you know girls know how big our breasts is because mm-hmm. we have our bra size. But you know how I got? I'm sure you got more. But uh, you know we have a lot of dicks uh, pictures because guys don't know where they are. They don't know how big their dicks are, so that's why they are insecure. So uh, if, if it's okay, can I ask like you brought a dildo? Uh, no, no, I did not. But, but you uh, wish. They are just you like, wish. Are, I wish, but my husband is here, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Holy, What's going what's on? What's the like the biggest size or, or average Japanese people or like Japanese big, or like Asian or Asian or Asian, Asian? So it's not too specific. Or um, oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would be like based on experience? Because everybody has their own experience. What would be your average Asian size? Yes, average, average. So the guys know who where their position is so they don't get too insecure. See, these are just insane. I, mean, I gotta <laughs> I say. I know, I mean, but what are these you doing are... Yeah, what like, are you doing like with these? Like, from here to that, that's it. <laughs> these, like, <laughs> like, these are just like... These are just like... How can you with this? Yeah. Like, oh. I, I know, but like, the size-wise... Does it, Maybe the size-wise, not the length, but size-wise... Not size the length, the size one. This one. Like the, don't you think? But not the length. The length you mean though. you mean like or the 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 ones that you experience? Like what do you mean? What are you? Yeah, the, the ones I experience. Like I I think I think and people say that Asians are on average are short smaller, but hard. Short, short but harder. harder. The, yes, that's other true. Other countries are soft but long. Yes, yes. I right? agree. I agree. So this <laughs> is like in the middle. <laughs> What do you mean, like the length or the girth? I mean, this is insane. <laughs> no, like he's so uncomfortable. I'm so insecure right now. <laughs> he's so insecure right now. This is how sad guys are. Okay, they don't know. It's okay. It's they don't okay. know I don't what care. their status okay. is in the world. This is so, so funny. Okay, this is so, so funny. This I would say pretty small. I'm so sorry, but it's okay if you are like super nice, warm, uh, polite. Okay, this. You know, consider- okay, this. The length. The length. Not the girth. The length. The length. Will be this everything, is, everything, everything, everything. Okay, this average will be Japanese size for yes. girth. Wow. Yes. Okay, good. this will be like okay to use. If yeah. I love you, I'll take it. Right? Would right. you agree? Yeah, I'll I'll take you. I'll take it. But uh, like this is pretty okay. Right? That's okay, but still not like every day. I know like, special <laughs> occasions. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to protect myself also. Yeah. So, so this will be considered the length will be considered a little above average. Yes. Yes. Right yes, above definitely. average. So if you're like this, uh, in terms of length, you're above average. I think you're crushing all the guys. I know. I know. I think my husband channel. is being a little no. more uncomfortable. I never <laughs> talked to him about. If you're like this in terms of length, you're a huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's okay. Have you seen? But I've seen. I haven't seen in person. But I've seen, yeah, and heard and seen in those packages of the oh, AV. Yeah. Like, I'm like, they have like a mosaic. Yeah. Mosaic. But, but can you see those videos without mosaic? If you go to the other internet. Inter- yeah. Oh, okay. But like the most biggest size that I, I have ever seen in my life is like, of course, in the industry. I had a scene with um three African-American people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like black people. Black people. Mm-hmm. And when they took off their pants, I was like, the fuck <laughs> is that going to be inside of me? And I got you were pretty scared? Yes. Is, is I, that longer than this? No, right? This? No, like this. no, this. not but something like like this or like this. Okay. And then I was like, I kind of la- I, I think I was a little bit rude. I was 
very surprised. And I'm like, oh my God. And then, of course, the director's like, cut, what happened? And then the guys are like, yeah, I get that a lot. I'm like, fuck. But it was like, I was just like generally surprised how big people could be. Could be. And that was like good and bad experience. Yeah, but professionally speaking, do you think size really matters? Professionally speaking, yes. Because if you're on the set, it's most likely a show. And yeah. how can you have a show? With- <laughs> <laughs> it's not a show with that. It's not a show with that. Yeah. So... Yeah, but as a boyfriend. But as a boyfriend, if you love him and so if much. you really love him, yes, because <laughs> uh, the feelings ninety percent. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. So if you're like this, uh, just be nice. We still love you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So that means like it's so powerful. Like the feelings, right? Like mm-hmm. once you lose that feeling towards any guy, or you have a fight, it's like. <sighs> Why this three years, but <laughs> five years or Put ten years? This. Yeah, <laughs> how did I go with that? But as long as you really love him, it's like this is good enough. Yeah. I agree. I agree. The love, so, love makes up ninety percent. Love 90%. really yes. is what matters the most. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So professionally speaking, not just me. Okay, from a uh, Maria Ozawa. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh shit! Are you giving me a middle finger? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Shit. I love you. Oh, oh, I love husband. you. Just no matter how big you are. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> thank you so much, Maria Ozawa. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Maria. You're, so, you. Awesome. You're so awesome. Love thank you so you. much. We love you.